Scribus is a desktop publishing application, released under the GNU General Public License as free software. It is based on the free Qt toolkit, with native versions available for Linux, Unix-like operating systems, Mac OS X, Haiku, Microsoft Windows, OS-2 and Ecom Station. Scribus is designed for layout, typesetting and to prepare files for professional quality image setting equipment. It can also create animated and interactive PDF presentations and forms. Example uses include writing newspapers, brochures, newsletters, posters and books. An official Scribus manual, published through FLES Books, has been available since January 19, 2009. General Feature Overview Scribus supports most major bitmap formats, including TIFF, JPEG and Adobe Photoshop. Vector drawings can be imported or directly opened for editing. The long list of supported formats includes Encapsulated PostScript, SVG, Adobe Illustrator, and XFIG. Professional type image setting features include CMYK colors and ICC color management. It has a built-in scripting engine using Python. It is available in more than 24 languages. High-level printing is achieved using its own internal Level 3 PostScript driver, including support for font embedding and subsetting with TrueType, Type 1 and OpenType fonts. The internal driver supports full Level 2 PostScript constructs and a large subset of Level 3 constructs. PDF support includes transparency, encryption and a large set of the PDF 1.5 specification, as well as PDFX3 including interactive PDFs form fields, annotations and bookmarks. The file format, called SLA, is based on XML. Text can be imported from Open Document text documents, as well as OpenOffice.org Writer, Microsoft Word, PDB and HTML formats. ODT files can typically be imported along with their paragraph styles, which are then created in Scribus. HTML tags which modify text, such as bold or italic will also be handled pretty well. So far, Word and PDB documents will only be imported as plain text. Although Scribus supports Unicode character encoding, it currently does not properly support complex script rendering and so cannot be used with Unicode text for languages written with Arabic, Hebrew, Indic and Southeast Asian writing systems. In August 2012, it was announced that a third party had developed a system to support complex index scripts. In May 2015, it was announced that the Scribusctal project has started to improve complex layout via integrating the OpenType text shaping engine HalfBuzz into the official Scribus 1.5.1 SVN branch. As of September 2013, Scribus does not have OpenType alternative glyph support, so ligatures, for example, will not be inserted automatically. The 1.6 version is expected to provide a better table implementation, PDFX1 a, PDFX4 and PDFE support. Footnotes, marginal notes and EPUB exporting are under development. Support for other programs and formats, Scribus cannot read or write the native file formats of other DTP programs like Quark XPRESS or InDesign. The developers feel that reverse engineering those file formats would be prohibitively complex and could risk legal action from the makers of those programs. Nonetheless, support for importing Microsoft Publisher is incorporated into version 1.5, and Quark XPRESS tag files, in designs IDML, as well as in copies ICML formats have been added to the development branch. Due to licensing issues, the software package does not include support for the Pantone color matching system, which is included in some commercial DTP applications. Nonetheless, there are legal ways to obtain and incorporate Pantone colors within Scribus. Scribus is already being shipped with more than 100 color palettes, most of which have been donated by various commercial color vendors, but also include scientific, national or government color standards. References External links, official website. Equals articles equals, Scribus, open source desktop publishing, free desktop publishing with Scribus.